All right, here we go. So we had a weird one uh, come in the other week. Dealing with some SPX PX Axiom multi-generation brakes that we have here. So we had a customer came in and they wanted us to do a custom mount where we mounted a uh, Rossi Rocker Flex binding onto a Rex ski. It was a peak ski with a 98 millimeter waist. And the brake that is required for the PX 15 or the rocker flex or rocker race it does not come in any size other than 80 millimeter or 120 millimeter so they've stopped making this brake in the middle sizes but they apparently still make a large size and a small size problem is we have a customer who needed a 98 or 100 somewhere in there and so that's not a option anymore and we don't have any of those available so what I did was I tore out the arms from a hundred millimeter new frame SPX uh, brake and then I took it apart and I will put the arms into the old base plate style for the Axiom and the Axial uh, PX binding from Look. So it's hard to see but Underneath here, you can see this metal plate on the bottom. On the PX version, there's a little step right here. You can see there's a couple millimeters between the bottom of the plate on the rear and the top portion here. So you can see that little gap in there. There's a couple millimeter of a step up to this one. On the new version, there is no step anymore, and the plate is flush all the way across. So if I were to take a new 100 millimeter brake and just try to swap it on to the, the PX18 or 15, it's not gonna work properly because this is not gonna actually line up, so it's not actually gonna set on there. So I have to have this step in order for this to properly fit on the binding. And so the only way to make that happen is I'm gonna rip these arms out of here. We're gonna reshape them a little bit in the vise just because they don't have the same bend to them. It's a little bit, slightly different shape. We'll show you that here in a second. But so what we're gonna to try to do today is take the 100 millimeter arms out of this one, the 120 millimeter arms out of the old one, and we're gonna to try to put the 100 millimeter into this old style base. And we're gonna make a 100 millimeter break to fit in the old PX18 style binding. This is not easy. So what I wanna do is I wanna support these small plastic rivets. It's kind of like a mold when they make the plastic strike plate attached to the metal plate. These pieces of plastic get pushed through and then heat pressed down. So it creates like a, a plastic washer. So these cannot be stretched, broken in any way. So you have to be very careful that this doesn't open up. So I'm gonna take a clamp like this. And I'm gonna clamp this down together to make sure that this holds tight. And then I'm gonna put some leverage on this and try to rip the arms out of here. So I'm gonna use some tape just to cover. So just a little bit of that protection for my tools sitting on top. Good Lord. As you can see, this is not intended to do this. So I'm putting a ton of force on this arm. All right, we're actually gonna go over the vise real quick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this in the vise here. So give me a heck of a time. I forgot. We were using weaponry. We're gonna cut these apart. Okay, Dremel. Safety glasses. Okay, so I need these arms out of here. So I'm just gonna cut part of the top of this apart to get this arm out. Yeah, okay, we'll get some pliers, we'll pull out the little pin. Now we can disassemble the body. 
So now, get in here a little bit easier to work around. So the last thing we need to do now is get this out like that. So then we're gonna pee off the other side. Okay, so now here's one set of arms out of a hundred millimeter break. We're gonna do the same thing again. All right, and then we have our second set of arms. So we're gonna set these aside. I don't need any of these pieces that we salvaged off the other binding. So I got a left and a right arm, left and a right arm. The next part is we have to get the arms successfully out of here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut both of these off here, leaving the part that's hooked up into the end. That'll give me better leverage to peel and pull this part arm out of there. So let's get started. So now I can pull this one out by just gently working it out. So I don't want to bend any of this uh, housings. I'm going to try to reuse this one for the, the new part. Don't forget your PPE. Okay, so then we'll pull this out. Careful, it is going to be hot. So I'm going to gently work this cut arm out of the pocket that can be thrown away. So now I have to get these two loose arm bits out of here. So what I'm gonna do is take some pliers, I'll we'll put this in the vise, and now I can get really good leverage on this to take this and peel it kind of out of the body there without bending any of the metal or the plastic inside or ripping my vise apart. Okay, so there's one arm, success. So we'll do a repeat, do the same for the other side. Okay, there's arm number two. So these little pieces are now gone. So we got the piece out. Here's the bottom. So this one has the step. This is the one we're gonna reuse. I'm gonna use these arms from the new SPX. So if you look at a comparison between the two, you can see here, that the old arms have a little bit more of a rise on the left side and the right one is a little bit flatter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the vise to bend this arm up. Next part, what we're gonna do here is now I'm gonna take the 100 millimeter arms, not the narrow, not the narrow one. So we're gonna make sure that we orientate them the proper direction. Gently feed this arm back up into the body here. All right, we got one in there. So one arm in. Now we gotta get this one up through the hole. Boom. Okay, so we've got two arms in. We still have a loose top. So we have to be careful, and like I said before, to not rip open these plastic little plugs here used to actually hold the top strike onto the metal. So you just want to make sure that, once again, this does not come open as you're trying to squeeze these in here. It's pretty tricky, and it can break and bend the binding and make it deem it useless, but if you can get it right, we should be able to pull this off. So it's really hard because it's spring-loaded. Okay, so I can just tap it to get it started. And I'm gonna use the pliers to finish it off. Hold it together, don't let it open. Okay couple hammers, tapped her in. Okay, so we're all set. I took the 120 millimeter 
ripped it apart, cut them out, cut apart a small SPX. Now we have the step base built in with 100 mil arms on it. Now this thing could be slapped onto a ski that's 98, 105, somewhere in there, underfoot. And you're good to go. Not the easiest, sometimes you get parts that bend and break and you have to restart and try again. We have hundreds of old brakes of this style, but wrong width laying around. So we have plenty of extra parts for us to try to do a couple of these here and there if we need to do a custom uh, little build for a customer. So PX18 or a race binding onto a Rex ski. All right, that's it.